And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu merriment in our best of one day today. We're doing best of one day Monday today. Uh, so far, our first deck didn't go so well, but we're going to be trying out something different. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you like the best of one decks, let me know over there. Also, feel free in the comment section to post your deck list if you are uh, playing a bunch of best of one and you're doing really well with it um, and you know you really like your best of one deck. Feel free to post it in the you know in the comments there. Um, I did, I usually play a lot of best of three. That's what I do mostly on the stream. But I've uh, gotten a, a good amount of feedback of people wanting best of one at deck lists as well. And so I'm planning on playing some best of one here on Mondays. Um, you know, kind of seeing how how it goes. If you know if we don't get too much viewership on it, we'll go back to best of three. But we're gonna give it a try here. Uh, this was a viewer submitted deck that sent. Uh, a viewer sent me this list over um, on Discord with a Mardu control deck with Outlaws Merriment, and so this looks pretty sweet. Um, all right, so what's up? So what our deck's about is, of course, we are a control deck. Um, you know, kind of based around Kaya's Wrath is <laughs> just you know like that's our main sweeper because <clears throat> we're going to be behind. You see, we don't have a whole lot to do early um, early on in the game. We got 26 lands, so we should be able to hit land drops. We got the golden eggs. That will draw us an extra card also help us hit our land drops we're going to be behind we you know rampage othakaya and murderous riders are all fine removal spells but that's not too much removal so we're going to need to catch up with kaya's wrath okay let's assume we get to do that and then how do we kind of take over the game well we have i guess talk about removal a little bit more there's four doom foretold in the deck i'm interested to see how this card plays we don't have too many permanents that we necessarily want to sacrifice we have a couple we have othakaya and golden egg are like the two main ones there sorry um and so you know hopefully we can outlast our opponent with sacrificing but i feel like sometimes we're going to have to just sacrifice our own doom foretold it can happen of course kaya's wrath makes doom foretold even better you know if you can <clears throat> like play doom foretold like have an egg and play play doom foretold um you sack your egg and you Kaya's Wrath, and then it goes to their turn. They don't have anything to sacrifice. Then you get to do your Doom Foretold thing. Hopefully that happens. Um, but besides that, we have uh, Outlaw's Merriment. All right, going over to our win cons. This is kind of like a, a big part of our deck. So four mana enchantment. Each um, each one of your upkeeps, like at the beginning of your upkeep, you just get one of these three creatures. Okay, and that, so you have like your one of these three creature tokens enters every upkeep. Now, just having one creature token isn't very powerful, but it's just the effect over a longer game of getting a second one, getting a third one, getting a fourth one, and so on. And, of course, they work really well in multiples and everything like that. Um, we also have three Rankles, which you usually see this in an aggressive deck. But I guess the Rankles pair really well with the Outlaw Merriment, where the Merriment gives you a creature to sacrifice every turn. And so you try to hit your opponent with the Rankle, say each player sacrifices a creature, and they have to sacrifice something better than just your token, and you can do that over and over. That's that's the theory here. We'll kind of see how it plays out, but that's like the theory of our deck here. And then of course the top end, Liliana and Chandra are just amazing planeswalkers, and so we got two uh, pretty great mythic six drops that should be able to help help us uh, win a lot of games there. Um, I'm interested to also try out kind of how this mana base works. This man, you know, like we have eight basic lands and four Fable Passage. So I wonder how that's going to work out with, you know, Kaya's Wrath and everything. Um, mostly, usually whenever I build the three color decks, I play a lot more of the dual lands. You know, so I'd have a lot more Goblet Shrine, Sacred Foundries in here. Um, instead of just the four dual lands of each color. So it'll just be, kind of be interesting to, to see how it works with having a whole bunch of monocolored lands. But they, you know, enter the battlefield untapped. And everything they don't cost any life so anyway this is our deck let's give us a try so we're gonna play some best of one today with it we'll play it over in ranked <clears throat> the Asper mill deck that we're gonna be doing up next is a best of three deck and then we're gonna be doing two more best of one you know it's a best of three donation deck that we're gonna be trying out there um, it's gonna be like Golos Field of the Dead's Worst Nightmare. And then we'll be playing two other best of one decks with Selesny Adventures and Rakdos Sacrifice after that. Uh, 
Let's see how this goes. Awesome, Canthic. Yeah, I, I forgot about that Rakdos control deck we played a couple of weeks ago. That was that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, my the first slot is free any day that you want, mommy. If you want a donation deck. Um. Any day that you want. Yeah. Of course, besides. Besides today, I suppose, but any other day. So I want to use the Fable Passages right now because I want I want to be able to play something on turn three, whether it's Murderous Rider or Othakaya. I feel like I need to get the Black Source here for Murderous Rider and then kind of also for Wrinkle, but... Then we don't have double white for Merriment, and Merriment is. Merriment feels like a, an important card to play as early as possible. Well, this is not exactly what our 26 land deck could do is not hit a fourth land drop because as you can tell everything costs four mana <laughs> this has been a frustrating day so far um, I don't I don't know anything about it scouter but probably not. All right, so we'll just <clears throat> we don't hit the double white for merriment, but we got we got doom foretold up here. There we go. I mean, that was worth four mana. You know, like, we, we draw a card, they discard a card, we gain two life. And we get a 2-2, two -two, and they lose two life. Well, that's not bad. So it's a, it was a four mana 2-2 two -two that has they lose one, and we gain two. But they lose two, we gain two, and they discard, we draw. That's a pretty good card. Gonna do it again, you know, trying to get the cards out of their hand because you know each card that they have in their hand, you know, could just be a land, is, you know, it's a resource that turns into a two-two. I right, got rid of a circuitous route. That's good. Circuitous route is you know multiple bodies plus multiple lands out of the deck. That's pretty good. It's not ideal. Sorry, I'm late. Bounces agent of treachery. They get to steal another land. Don't worry, I got this. Hmm. 
Not ideal. I know, right? Yeah, Agent of Treachery is such a mean card. Yeah, our deck's not going to be winning if we can't hit land drops. But even still, I mean, Agent of Treachery, I, I don't know if we're winning that. So, not a great start for our best of one submission so far. Let's see if we can turn this around. Okay, here we go. So this, this would be just a fine place to play Otakaya, but I... You know, we can just play this two-mana removal so we don't have to shock. So we can just play in some lands without shocking. Deck on Thursday. All right. So first slot Thursday. Marauding Raptor. Kind of forgot that card is in standard. Didn't rotate out with all the other dinos. All right, so mommy, you were saying that that your your deck list is in the is in the Discord channel in the best of three part of the Discord channel. Cool animation. Uh oh. Okay, tomorrow? Okay. This would have been a nice time if we, if we had like one more mana. I could Othakaya this dagger caster. And then have Rankle make them sacrifice the Torbran. The one damage doesn't really matter there. If they if they just like untap kill the rider, I, I may want to block. We'll kind of see. I think I should probably block. All right, we'll be able to crack this golden egg. Hmm. Yeah. 
That's unfortunate. I was definitely... I, know, I was definitely I planning know. on making them sacrifice this dagger caster. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, so I'll get you first tomorrow then, mommy. This is just going to be bad for you. All right, fetch land's kind of nice cuz I had to scry the 6 mana Chandra down to the bottom earlier so we can put put that card back. Um if I attack Chandra for six, I take six. So I go down to five. Oh, that's true. I take five. That's true. I take five. So I go to six. That's probably worth. I am out of here. Yeah, I think I have to also. Agree. I don't know what my opponent's going to have that's going to do 6 damage to me, but we'll just make it. They have to do 9 damage to me. It looks like the Merriment takes over. Merriment is a pretty cool little win con. I think that was my first time playing Outlaws Merriment. Maybe second time. We might oh no, yeah, I did I did I definitely did play a Merriment before in a donation deck, like right away. Um now I remember that. I remember my opponent. I had like one Merry Mint in my deck, and I, we played against like a Jeskai player that had like a bunch of Merry Mints, and <laughs> they out Merry Minted me. Yeah, Othakaya certainly saved us. It could be a 4x card. It's the kind of thing, though, it's like you know, the first turn, it's slow, you know, like so it's really rough against Teferi, it gets bounced, that kind of stuff, but having it in play it's kind of like a planeswalker with summoning sickness basically you can kind of think of it like you can kind of think of it like that um yeah the creatures from the enchantment are, are at random yep you get you get one of the three different types at random yep yeah you determine that with dice in a in a tournament you just take like a, a six-sided dice and say one and two is this two uh three and four is this five and six is this and you just roll it and see which one you get yeah that yeah i think it, yeah if it made if it made a token also whenever like etb make a token also it would it would definitely be a lot stronger you'd see a lot more of it Um, yeah, there's there's not really anything against using a random number generator if like that's what you and your opponent decide and everything. And and as long as both you and your opponent agree that's fair, that then there's nothing really wrong with that. So yeah, yeah, you could yeah yeah. So you can use that at FNM as long as your opponent's okay with it.
I kind of want to save these temples for like later on. <laughs> Field of the Dead legit having me long for Nexus Dex to be back. Looks like that could definitely be a weakness of our deck, though, is Field of the Dead. That's what it's looking like. No land drops, no nothing? Hmm. Surprising. What could they possibly have in, have in hand that they couldn't play any of it and they didn't have a land? I'm not sure. Just have Agent of Treacheries or something? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess they could have just a bunch of yeah, Realm Cloak Giants time wipes. They have main deck Veil of Summer. Your corpse will make it. Uh, get out of my way. Yeah, Merriment does remind me of Assemble the Legion. I think Assemble the Legion was more powerful. They were a lousy servant anyway. But it's yeah, it's it's pretty similar. Assemble the Legion, for those of y'all that don't know, is like a five mana enchantment like this, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you made a one one haste for each counter on it. Like so you the your first upkeep you put a counter on it, make one one one. The next turn you put a counter on it, you make two one ones, the next turn you make three one ones. And so on, and so it could get pretty crazy, you know, you know, making five creatures, six creatures, seven creatures, and so on. Like it's, it was more powerful than this of just the one creature a turn. Smelly but effective. That's unfortunate having that merriment countered. It would have been really nice to have two merriments in play. That's unfortunate for sure. We only have one other merriment in the deck.
because yeah, obviously Field of the Dead can go much bigger than just one creature each turn. So it would have been nice to have two creatures each turn with Liliana also ticking up. So you know we get three creatures a turn. That would have been really nice. Rain is being a little slow. Played this land. There's the triggers. I know, right? We're just trying to have a little bit of merriment. And our opponent's like, no merry for you. No happiness over there. We do have more counters. Nope. Dead. I waste not, want not. Certainly a real chance that we're going to mill out here. You know, Rampage could make them sacrifice Golos by choosing Artifact. Putrid, but effective. Yeah, still a lot of Golos, J. Gomez, yep. Bleh. So that's what their hand was. Their hand was a bunch of extra Goloses whenever they didn't really play anything else. That's, that's good for me. Get a crisis out of here. Mommy! Thanks for the cheers. Let's slow this down. Thank you. Looks like they're looks like they're certainly considering bouncing the Golos. Might as well just sacrifice a creature each. These are just going to be blocking anyway. We get to draw a card right now. I should just I should have played the swamp. Then I could have played Murderous Rider and had Murderous Rider up. So we need three blockers. I 
Oh, I still have it because golden egg. Okay, I can golden egg and murder shard of this. Hey, track, track a key. What's up? Thanks for the sub. I'll get some hype for our new sub, sub number four on the day. Thank you so much there, AZ. Thank you. All four Field of the Deads. The Rankle's doing a good job for us, though. They're down to 13. So we're going to need to Kaya's Wrath here anyway. I was hoping that we'd, you know, by playing the Murderous Rider, like my other option, I, I was thinking about making just a 1-1 one, one to be able to block instead of playing the Murderous Rider. That was my other option there. Because, you know, Wrathing away the Murderous Rider isn't great. Hey, that's awesome, Lou. Good job. Crushing up the Team Walkers deck. Awesome. Happy to hear So they're down to 25 cards. I'm at 36. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who rules them? I invite you to change your ways. It's going to be tough to beat four Field of the Deads, though. May we meet again, or not. Draw a whole bunch of cards. Let's play this thing. I don't even know if deck thin thinning is that good for me right now. You just auto tap the two red sources. Wow, this looks like a fun new toy. All right, I gotta discard one of those two. You know, ultimating Liliana is the goal. There's a time wipe. We're kind of doing it, though. We're kind of doing it. Doing it. 
<laughs> yeah, we've gotten rid of a bunch of Krasis. Those are good hits off the Yoko for us. All right, just gonna pass the turn. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> Making them discard a whole bunch of cards has been really nice. Between uh, Rankle and uh, Doom Foretold. Rankle in particular, flying over these zombies. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's more enjoyable. Best of one. Well, I mean, for myself, it's best of three. But I think that's that's just something that's different for everybody. So I can't really, I can't really tell you which is more enjoyable, but best of one or best of three. Um. Yeah, it's very similar meta games anyway. Like they're you know, they're they're pretty similar. You get you get much less mid range in best of one though. That's that's the thing is mid range is so much harder to play. Either want a deck that goes Rise really big or, or a deck that, that's uh, really fast. I'll keep that. What am I to Legion's end? Gross. We kind of have too many cre- You know, like, that's the thing. With Liliana, if all these creatures die, that's bad for us. One, two, three, four. You're welcome, Quill. Because, of course, the, the more of our creatures that die... Um, the more cards we draw with Liliana, so the more chance we mill out. They were so we're down to eight. Anyway. We're getting close. We're looking for our Chandras. <clears throat> does looping riders really help us? Like, does it really? We don't really avoid milling. too much with that because every time a rider dies we have to draw a card anyway so it doesn't did I not take up Liliana no I did yeah that's that's summoning sick okay good I'm gonna say because yeah basically all we're trying to do is if we get to the minus minus nine we win that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get to the minus nine before we mill out we're both at 21 
Chandra. All right, well, we found Chandra. Chandra will end the game. Unless they draw Growth Spiral into a Gain Life Land. Took us a little while to find there. Yeah, so we'll do four damage with Rankle, one damage with Chandra, add up to five. <laughs> we have to spend six mana just to ping our opponent for one. But, you know, that's what we gotta do. Alright, so we we outgrinded four Field of the Deads. Outlaw's Merriment was pretty sweet. Obviously, so much of that was Liliana. We got to draw so many cards with Liliana with, you know, like with the rats and everything and all those creatures dying. Liliana's passive ability allowed us to outgrind Field of the Dead there. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. One hand in my pocket. Pelt collector. Why would you want to collect pelts? You don't want to be like a melt collector and collect grilled cheese sandwiches? Hmm. No, my lands. I don't think I want my opponent to have Doom Foretold. <laughs> yeah, a belt collector. Oh, they didn't play their land first, so they didn't get the Robber of the Rich trigger. I was I was a little confused there. Questing Beast. We need another black mana now. Ow. So aggressive. So aggressive. We're trying to stabilize. Like to draw Othakayas. Uh, nope. We were just too slow there. What's up, Y Korean? <laughs> For the melt collector fun. <laughs> Thanks for that resub there. I appreciate that. Alright, two and two. Our our mana did hurt us there of you know having to use uh, let's see properties you know not having like the double black there that certainly hurt having to use those golden eggs that could have been been used to be gaining life but oh well hey zephyrs. We got a Karn Mirror. Wonder if they're playing Merry Mint as well. We got a Merry Mint Mirror. This is a pretty good hand. Double Doom Foretold.
Yeah, the Gruul deck's all about... Um, the Gruul deck's all about... You know, what you draw. If you draw, like, the right parts of your deck and everything. You know, if you... I don't know. I've tried, like, the Gruul Haste deck. And... There's a lot of games where you don't... Like, your opponent stabilizes. You can't quite get that extra damage in. But opponent did a good job. Um, I liked... I like Collision Colossus in it. Resubs do alert just whenever, if you like continue a gifted sub, it doesn't alert. A Marior. Competition that reset every set where you tracked which subscribers donation decks cumulatively had the most wins. One little problem with that. Play this. Is that if I, you know, like that's, that's also kind of just relying on me. If I um, mess something up in a game, that could be like a pretty bad feel. That could be a pretty big feels bad for somebody. Because yeah, we don't want to play the Doom Foretolds against a Boreal Grazer, so we just don't want to play those. Yeah. I don't think about that. This isn't this is not really a very good time to Kaya's Wrath, to be honest. But because of like having because of our hand, I want to cast Kaya's Wrath because of like the double doom foretold, but this is not really a very good time to use a Kaya's Wrath already. I didn't realize there was this much Golos in best of one. You know, we've played it against it three out of five matches here. It's not too surprising, I suppose, but I just didn't really realize that. Does it make sense? Golos card is pretty good. You think you'd prefer it if, if Golos was banned instead of Field of the Dead?
right on schedule. Here we go. Stand by and watch. They should be bouncing out the Kai here. If they play it correctly. Yep. That's more like it. We need another land drop here. We need a seventh land drop. Othakaya, the Teferi, and Kaya's Wrath. Would have been nice. I guess I could just get to Kaya's Wrath and nothing else here. Okay. The Sidharth art planes. Okay. Basically, yeah, like the like basically these have like the the I card styles you. as far as the Throne of the Eldraine ones. These are the only ones that have the card styles, but they are nice planes though. Hardly my worst defeat. My opponent's playing it like they have circuitous routes. Which obviously I can't really do too much about. You know, I can't like play a sweeper beforehand or anything. Just kind of have to hope they don't have it. So we went one and two against Field of the Dead. It looks like it's it does look like it's just kind of a rough matchup for us though. Which I don't know if that's the spot you want to be in best of one. Is having a deck that's kind of weak to Field of the Dead. But that's just kind of how our deck's been looking here. But we got we got one of the three, and it's and um, you know we we did better with like having Merriment, you know, get that extra blocker, so you're not taking as much damage right away, and then Liliana, of course, as well. So all these lands come into play tapped. I'm going to just play the temple and look for an untapped land. There we go. Because, of course, we want to try to hit our six land drops, get to Liliana. Fable Passage is likely getting a Plains. The Plains would give us the mana to cast, like, ev everything. Sure, I'll just play the Plains now. All 
All right, gruel haste. Hopefully we'll draw Kai's Wrath. Um, I'm not sure WQ. It's possible that it gets banned, but I don't know. There's 0% chance that it turns into a legendary land. That's just not... That's not going to happen whatsoever. There's there's two options. It stays legal or it gets banned. None of, no other options exist. Hey, Borderin. Thanks for the sub there. I appreciate that. No other options that like that they're gonna take. Like there's not getting restricted, anything like that. Well, our deck looks like a. You know, our deck's been playing like a good Mardu. A Mardu Doom foretold instead of Esper Doom. Restricted means the that you cannot play four copies in your deck. now Do they have like hell kite is that like the card that they're waiting on yeah Make sure they didn't have another. <clears throat> another Hellkite in hand. Which I, I guess upkeep. The Doom Foretold would have made them discard anyway, so I guess we didn't really have to discard. <clears throat> need to make them... You know, need to get rid of that other creature, though. So I, I guess I could have just gone, like, Liliana. What's a faster clock? I play Liliana. They're, not, they're dead the next turn if I play Chandra. They take one, go to six. They're dead the next turn also. They're they're dead the next turn either way. Ever see a volcano erupting? Liliana would like let me draw more cards if they had removal for these tutus.
Okay, three and three. Yeah, it's true. Liliana would have gave me one more blocker for a haste creature. All right, three and three. So it looks like it's looks like best of one is all about Gruul and Golos. <laughs> We've played six matches. Five have been against Gruul or Golos. Two Gruul, three Golos. Yeah, that's that's kind of the problem with the Gruul, right? Yep, when you get to the top decking, it's rough. It can definitely be rough there. All right, our last match with Mardu Merriment here. We'll move on to Esper Mill after this. Speaking of Mill. So none of those are lands. I wanted to wait on this and see. Oh, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have fetched right now. <laughs> yeah, they. I don't know if we're turning on the attack anyway. It's fine. It's fine. But I wanted to wait to see if you know if we need to get red or if we need to get like you know there's like another color that we need to get or anything like that. Sure. I don't really mind that thing attacking. Like, are they actually going to kill me with Vantress Gargoyle? Probably not. I do need more lands, though. Our opponent milled over one land total. We put a land in the graveyard also. Hmm. Yeah, famous last words. I mean, I guess I am letting them have a bunch of counter spells up now. Maybe they will be able to kill the gargoyle, or like, you know, kill me with gargoyle. We have a difficult decision here whether to cast Kaya's Wrath or gain six life with golden eggs. The gaining six life. Make sure that we stay alive for another two turns, but then if we do that, we're like never going to be able to cast Kaya's Wrath. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess this gargoyle probably will kill me. I think I kind of do have to go for Wrath, because I think if we just sacrifice the eggs while that's a safer play, with our how bad our mana is here with Double Mountain. Well, everything that could go wrong that game did go wrong. Got the wrong land with the fetch after drawing another basic. I don't know. That did not go very well. All right, so that's Mardu Merriment. It was okay. Uh, Outlaw's Merriment looked pretty good overall as like a finisher. Of course, we knew our deck was going to be really slow, and it was. Um, the fact that... like. How our deck felt against Golos, it felt pretty bad against Golos. That was definitely rough. And I, I would think that, as we could see that like that last game, I would think against Simic Flash, this would be really tough with like how expensive 
all these cards are and everything. So that's okay if you want, you know, if you want something a little different. It, you know, our, our decks definitely going to be clunky at times for Doom Foretold. Like Doom Foretolds were, were honestly pretty good a lot of the time, but it's just everything costs four. These Rankles, Doom Foretolds, Outlaws, Merriment, Kaya's Wrath, everything is four. And that's a problem. Our mana was pretty bad. Also another problem. I want to try out, you know, like, it was uh, submitted like this with all these basics and everything, but there's a lot of times, like, where just having all these basics, it's tough to cast these different cards because we need double black for these. We need double white for those, and it's, it's difficult to have those, you know, have red and then have double blacks and double whites. Um, so... There we go. So that's Mardu Merriment, though. All right, again, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also let me know um, if you've been playing a lot of best of one and having success with any decks, feel free to post them in the chat. I think for next Monday, I'm going to be building my own best of one decks, I think. Um, yeah, I'll try building some best of one decks. Yeah, played some viewer submitted lists this time. Um, same with our, our other two decks. That we'll have later on. I'll build some decks as well. But there we go. That's Marty Merriment. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.